The scandal that's rocked the Antioch Police Department, the city and the department, now facing a lawsuit over racist and homophobic texts linked to nearly half the officers on the force. Those messages were revealed as part of an ongoing investigation by the Contra Costa DA and the FBI into possible civil rights violations. Now, Bay Area Congressman John Garamendi and Mark Desaunier are urging the U.S. Attorney General to step in. And Congressman Desaunier joins us live right now. So thank you for joining us and taking some time. First, we wanted to get your reaction, your initial reaction to those texts. Uh, I was stunned. Uh, it's awful. Uh, sort of it's just inconceivable to me that this happened. Uh, but we've got to take action. That's the purpose of the letter to begin with. And you've asked Attorney General Merrick Garland to conduct what sometimes is referred to as a pattern or practice investigation. So can you explain what exactly that means and what you hope it will exactly accomplish? Well, the statute was passed in 1994, uh, somewhat as a response to what happened in Oakland um, in their police department that is ongoing. Uh, but it's to have the Department of Justice use its expertise uh, nationally to look at best practices and what causes these kind of uh, horrible things to happen, but also to hold people, make sure people are held accountable um, when they violated federal statutes or constitutional protections. And potentially, what will the Antioch Police Department look like? Well, when we're done, what I hope to look like is a functioning, high-performing uh, institution that doesn't have these kind of awful, awful examples of injustice uh, being part of their culture in law, sworn law enforcement people. So that's the goal, is to hold people accountable and fix the department so people in Antioch can feel that they trust them and they're protected by them. And after the George Floyd protests in 2020, there was a lot of support for broader police reforms on the federal level, including from many members of Congress. Has that momentum needed for those changes come and gone at this point? Well, it's continued. Unfortunately, we weren't able to pass a bill that former colleague and friend who's now the mayor of Los Angeles, Karen Bass, uh, put a lot of work into. But we're going to keep at it. Um, I think it's ever, everyone is interested, uh, particularly for the vast majority of law enforcement people who don't demonstrate this kind of racism and lack of regard for, for the rule of law. Uh, we want to make sure that people trust our institutions. And when they can't, we want to make sure that people are held accountable in every possible way and to make sure that uh, they're eliminated from their positions and um, restore that, that faith. Law enforcement and government can't be effective if people don't trust it. You talk about trust within the department with the public. How soon do you hope the attorney general gets involved? Well, we put a deadline of May 5th to respond. Uh, Representative Garamendi and I represent Antioch. That's the reason we're the authors. So we expect a response from them on the 5th. And uh, my expectation is that they will begin immediately. All right. Well, thank you very much, Congressman Mark Desaunier. Thanks for joining us.